Hello, pen pals. Zymie here with something a little... different. Most of you guys have caught one of my streams live or read an article on the Nerdy Girl Blurbs blog. But today's video is a how-to guide of sorts for an anxiety-inducing platforming section in Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. Sargon here is in the Temple of Knowledge region of Mount Cross, specifically the topmost northeastern section of this area. Note, you will need the Shadow of Submerge and Double Jump abilities to even give this a proper try. This section of the map is nigh impossible to reach without them. So, if you have not touched the Pit of Sands and you are watching this, Pause the video, save it in your watch later, and come back to it after beating Asada. This section of the map is split into two areas with dead ends. Each end contains one Xerxes coin, for a total of two. And the base of this massive room consists of spikes. Yeah, you heard correctly. Only spikes. There are no enemies here. But with solely magical wall traps to rack your nerves, you will soon miss the safety of solid ground and crazed alchemists. The purple translucent platforms in the upper area require the Samaric ability Clairvoyance. Said ability allows Sargon to swap between alternate dimensions or realms with the tap of a button. Those platforms will be the defining factor between a safe wall jump or a plummet to the depth. As with all Xerxes coin trials, once you touch the coins, you cannot use your Shadow of the Summer clone for an easy trip back, which means utilizing your wall jump into quick dash to gain height, late double jumps for a brief reprieve on activated wall traps, and your rush of the submerge to cover distance. This upper level coin is the hardest one to reach of the two, in my opinion. And the first half of their paths are the same. Meaning, if you can navigate this nightmare, the second coin will feel a tad easier. For now, I'm going to stop talking to give you guys time to drink in my attempts and learn. I'll see you in a little bit. At this point, you guys are probably wondering, why hasn't she moved? It's been a few seconds. Well, remember, the bottom of this area is made of nothing but spikes. And I have to get back to the lone platform that's at the beginning of this section. Yeah, that's right. That platform is the only piece of safe, solid ground. So you could get that Xerxes coin and completely lose it because you fell down to the bottom. Part two of this video should be up not too long after this one and that video will cover how to acquire the second Xerxes coin that is in the lower level of this area. You can catch my streams live over on twitch.tv forward slash But until then, see you later, pen pals. <laughs>